Hello everyone. Make it here. <laughs> I love how they went. Hello everyone. So hello everyone, Make it here. This is the night after the a true reveal of Marching Fire content, which is the new Chinese faction and the new breaching mode, as well as the less lesser reveal, let's say, but it's huge as well, that the game is going to be free. Um <coughs> free free to free to get, free to grab in the base mode. Uh, for a week so tell all your friends or every one of you who's watching this video don't have the game go grab it uh, it's a great game and this is a great moment to jump on so it's pretty late it's near midnight i'm wearing my super mario pyjama so i'm not gonna be able to talk very loud i also have this very annoying allergic coughing which my butt in sometimes is uh, it's a bother but anyway i want to walk through this new footage we got, this new video, which is pretty much already a walkthrough from Ubisoft. I'm just gonna highlight some little parts I think are pretty important and check out the award and rework ins we got near the end of the video. Of course, I suggest you watch this video yourself, it's very well done. I'm gonna leave a link to it in the description below. So, the new bridge mode, there is an attacker side and a defender side, of course. Attacker side, in this case, in this map, has to move this huge battering ram you see here. Um, and eventually the ultimate objective is to kill the king that the defender side has to protect. So, of course, attacker side gets to stay near the car. This is pretty basic stuff. You can check the video for this. I want to highlight just some little stuff. We see some actual gameplay of the new hero here, which is probably the Chinese Vanguard. He seems pretty fleshed out. Um, the release of this content is in four months. I'm sure there's going to be some tweaks they have to do. But I'm really hoping, since the Chinese hero, this one at least, looks so fleshed out, I'm really hoping they're gonna work uh, on the new hero it works in the meantime. So the defenders have Ballista to actually defend the fort. They also have some um, territories, some zones they control by default, where archers, uh, IA archers, are actually shooting down on the attacker's team. Um, the attacker's team can actually go here, kill the archers, and they will control that zone permanently, meaning there is no way for the defending side to get that zone back. Uh, I think this means that the defenders will really have to defend that zone quite efficiently. So I'm not gonna focus on the new Chinese hero's moves. Um, there is quite some stuff you can see, some melee attacks, uh, heavy, heavy chain. Uh, but I wanna focus on this new cauldron thing with, where to drop, you know, boiling oil on the opponent's team. It's a new uh, defending feature, it's pretty interesting. Last but not least, we have the final encounter with the Warden King here. Um, of course, he looks menacing, and I was, I, honestly, I was really looking forward to actually having one of the players control him. He's actually a boss controlled by the AI. Some of you might be confused. You see the Warden is using these weird moves, which he usually doesn't have. The stance is different as well. But this is just an AI. Take it as sort of a boss fight from the campaign. So those are not new moves. That's not the Warden rework people are hinting at. The actual Warden rework is close to here where we actually see finally uh, so far this warden player has been pretty <laughs> pretty disappointing he just gets into the battle and just dies probably because he doesn't really want to show she doesn't really want to show much of the new gameplay here so what she does here is heavy not really gets parried guard break top heavy somehow lands into a side heavy this side heavy is faster than normal i can tell you this is faster than normal that's good so one of the change we can we can see is probably side heavies, chain side heavies or at least are gonna be faster. And then we see a side heavy into top heavy and this, if you watch closely, it's an unblockable top heavy. You can see the warden glows, we have our an orange uh, orange outline on the sword glow, on the sword leads. So this is sadly the only things we can discern from this faster chain top side heavies, unblockable chain top heavy. Uh, this is interesting, we now know pretty much that Warden is getting a rework and it's huge, I'm really hyped, looking forward to this mode a lot. As I mentioned in the reveal video, in the, sorry, in the reaction video, this is something I've really been looking forward. I really want to, I really wanted a siege mode like in Chivalry, you know, uh, if you played Chivalry, there was this siege mode similar to this and it's something I always enjoyed a lot in there. My favorite part about Chivalry probably eventually getting to the king and fighting for the king's life. So I'm very happy they're introducing this in For Honor as well. And I can't wait to actually try this out. Hope you enjoyed the short video. I really wanted to comment on the Warden and Rework ins we got. Since a lot of you have commented on my previous video, on my uh, reaction video about them so yeah i wanted to acknowledge them and share with with the guys who actually maybe didn't see them or didn't pay enough attention to check it or maybe they just don't play warden enough to realize 
overall I'm very hype. I'm loving this, loving this reveal. This is so good. And I'm also very tired, however, it's getting late. I'm gonna head to bed soon. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please do comment and let me know what you think of this. Do also check the original videos, of course, the original content on the Ubisoft channels. And I hope you have a good day, good night, whatever. We'll see you all next time. Thank you.